Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do a sand example to find the effect of stress. Okay, so I've drawn it up for you here. So we have two layers. We've got, we know we've got one layer and we've got a water table which is five meters below the surface. So for a sand, everything below the water table will become saturated, right? We want to find the effect of stress at point A and point B. Okay, so let's do point A first. Now, because this region is all dry and this region is all saturated, this is gamma dry and this region is gamma sat, okay? So we first have to find gamma dry because we're only given gamma sat. So we know that gamma sat equals G plus E outside of 1 plus E outside of gamma W. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to find E, right? If we rearrange this, we get 1 plus E gamma sat equals G plus E gamma W. Um, we can then expand this to get gamma sat plus E gamma sat equals G gamma W plus E gamma W. Let's put all the E's on this side. So they get E gamma sat minus gamma W equals G gamma W minus gamma sat. And we can finally get E equals G gamma W minus gamma sat on top of gamma sat minus gamma w. So if we plug this all in, 2.6 gamma w is known as 9.81 minus gamma sat is 19.7 over 19.7 minus 9.81. Okay, so if we work this out, 2.6 by 9.81 minus 19.7 divided by 19.7 minus 9.81 2.6 by 9.81 minus 19.7 divided by 19.7 minus 9.81 we get 0 0.587 Okay, and then we can find our gamma dry, 